Okay, everyone, let me just uh, get this focused. There we go. Uh, as many of you know, I have been doing videos for some episodes. If I thought that um, understanding a map or roads, locations, routes, if I think those things are helpful to a case for all of you to understand it, then I will do a video. Of course, the one that first comes to mind is the disappearance of Travis uh, Murrow in, Octo uh, in Oklahoma uh, that we covered earlier this year where I thought that the, the doing a map, detailing where he went and where his truck was found, etc. would be helpful to all of you because some of those things are hard to understand uh, just through audio and even if you maybe have a map uh, or, or Google Maps like we are using here, uh, even following it along with the audio, it can maybe get a little confusing to you. So I thought for Tyler North's case, I thought it might be helpful if I could diagram some of these places so you could kind of understand how they are related to each other, where they are uh, in relation to each other. So that's what I'm going to be doing uh, with this video. It should only be a few minutes, unlike Travis Murrow's, which I think was maybe 15 minutes or something like that. But uh, So this is a video describing the locations for the disappearance of Tyler North. And that was uh, an episode we just covered this past Friday on September 27th, 2019. All right, here we go. And you'll see I'm just going to use this pen to point out the uh, different locations uh, that are important for this case. Moselle, you'll see that uh, right here in the center of the screen. That is where Tyler was that evening, that Sunday uh, when he disappeared, he was at his sister's house, uh, Sam's house, who, of course, she was the guest for that episode. Down here in Harlan, right here at the bottom of the screen, that is where Tyler was living at the time of his disappearance. If you remember that he and his wife separated and he was living on his own, and that was where he was living. So what his sister Stan Sam believed is that he would be leaving her house in Moselle and going down here to Harlan. That is about, and of course I have this uh, zoomed out. Um, you'll see the, I don't know if you can see that down in the corner or not, but uh, maybe a quarter of an inch or something like that is two miles. Well, this is actually about 20 mile drive from Moselle, Kentucky, down to Harlan, Kentucky. So this is where Sam... Uh, was living at the time. I'm guessing she still lives there now. That's where Tyler was. And it was presumed that he would be driving down to Harlan, which is right there, like I said, roughly 20 miles. Um, and ignore the kind of the blue. This is just how the way I... Re re uh, ignore the blue lines that are on here. Um, I couldn't figure out how to just make little marks like that. This is more like a route... Uh, type of situation on Google Maps. So just ignore the uh, the blue line and just pay attention to the uh, the names of the roads and locations. So we have Moselle here. He presumably was going to drive down to Harlan. But, and you'll remember that right before Tyler left, Sam's husband Matthew left. And they pulled out roughly the same time. However, Matthew was ahead. And so both of them would have been going this direction, this windy road here. And Matthew was headed to work. He was working a night shift uh, at a mine company. And Tyler was behind him. So they're going down this road. Kaywood Bridge Road, right here, is where that park is uh, that we talked about prominently in the episode. So Matthew kept going straight. This was the way he was driving to work. And he saw Tyler pull off on Kaywood Bridge Road, which is where that park is. Okay, so, and like, and, and uh, Sam was exactly right. It's just about exactly six miles from Moselle, where she lives, to Kaywood Bridge Road. All right. And of course, after that, Tyler was never seen again. And uh, Matthew, of course, kept driving to work. I'm not exactly where, uh, where uh, I'm not exactly sure where the mine company is. So, 
we need now to talk about a few other locations uh, that uh, popped up in the discussion. First of all, where his truck was found. It was found roughly in this area, a war branch. And in fact, um, she gave me another name for it, but uh, Sam said it was near war branch, right <clears throat> in this area right here. So this is where Sam lives. This is where Tyler lived at the time. This is Kaywood Bridge Road that Matthew saw him pull off on, presumably that uh, Tyler was going to meet his ex-wife, Michelle, at this park that is on this road. And then his truck uh, was found burned out uh, a week later in roughly this location over here. You'll remember that Sam believes that the truck was not there the entire time. She believed that it had only been sitting there uh, maybe just at the most a few days before it was discovered because she said that when uh, they did a search originally, this was an area they searched, and his truck was not there, but then it popped up there uh, a week later. So then the next important location is the location of the last ping from Tyler's phone. And you'll notice it's right here at Peter's Branch Road, and you'll see it's very close to where Sam lived, and uh, she does realize that. Um, I'm not going to get into speculation regarding that, although she has speculated on it, but this was the last ping, and, and you, of course, it's not an actual location. It's a road, so it could be anywhere along this road that branches out uh, to the east of this route right here, 421. So Tyler presumably was here, his phone last pinged, though, back this direction, Peters Branch Road, this direction, but then his truck was found over there uh, in the location near War Branch over, over here. Okay, now the final location I want to go over is where Michelle and uh, Jeremy were living together at the time, and I've been told since then by a few people that they were all that Joe was living there too. I don't know that for a fact. I don't remember Sam saying that to me, but um, we know I know for a fact that Jeremy and Michelle were living together. Well, this is what this location is up here. That is where Jeremy and Michelle's house uh, they were living at the time. This is the place that burnt down the day before his truck was found burned. At War Branch. Okay, so they're way up here. You'll see that it's not near where the park was. It's not near where the last ping was. You'll see it's not near where War Branch is. It's up there. In fact, just eyeballing this, I believe this is about 20 miles this way. It's roughly, I think, about 20 miles this way. So Moselle, where Sam lives, is kind of in the middle. It's about 20 miles this way to Harlan, to where Tyler lived. And it's about 20 miles this way to where... Jeremy and Michelle were living at the time, once again, where their apartment burnt down the day before his truck was found at War Branch. So, there you go. Um, I just wanted to go over that with all of you. And uh, I will be posting this. Of course, you're already watching this. You know where it's posted. But if, if you're trying to watch this and you'd like to watch in another location, this will be posted on both YouTube and Facebook in the Facebook uh discussion group, the Unfound Podcast discussion group on Facebook and on the Facebook page and on the uh, Unfound channel on YouTube. Thanks for watching.